If you feel the push, you can push. Yeah? Okay. So, <laughs> Ellen, guys, let's just take it this way. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too So the construction has begun And we are now way to the hospital I'm getting contractions um, at every five minutes or so. If you feel the push, you can push. Yes. Okay. about the delivery experience the birthing of our little angel how it all went down this story will not be full if i do not first explain one or two things okay so this is not my first quite all right this is our second baby my first experience giving birth was a lot and i was really trusting god for a miracle this time yes, i remember in my first pregnancy i was in labor for three good days although i had breaks in between then i had a straight labor for more than 12 hours down was the height of it and I was induced so it was really 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 bad I was on 2CM for a very long time and I ended up having a cesarean session after the whole labor pain so while doing my research I ran into a lady on TikTok she did a video of how she had a smooth betting experience and uh, she shared the scriptures she used the first one is in the garden of Eden she mentioned that that curse was placed when man sinned when Jesus died Christ took the curse he took everything and so we shouldn't go through extravagant pain during labor then I went for those scriptures I was like this is absolutely true and not long I was scrolling on YouTube then I met this lady who was talking about how her betting experience was so easy in short after having a baby she went back home in two hours i was like god if this person can have this kind of experience lord me okay this video is just going to be like um me saying and explaining certain things and meanwhile i'll be showing you the video back up to most of the things i'll be saying actually guys that very day i was already tired i was already 40 weeks and two days so that night which is 18th of april 2023 i went to sleep suddenly i woke up with this stomach pain and this was around 10 p.m in the night when i discovered that my water had broken and everything went from zero to hundred everywhere just blew up <laughs> Did you take my bag? Construction has begun and we are on our way to the hospital. But we need to drop Daniel first at my friends before I go to the hospital. Yeah, so I thought to film this process right now. I'm getting contractions um, at every five minutes or so. Of course, very painful. So I'm talking at my free time. Started. So 
I already had my baby things in the car. So let's pause here. Why did I have my baby things in the car? Exactly a week before, I began to have fever feeling. Went to the hospital. I was tested positive for COVID. I got regulated and that was how I left the hospital. So now back to what we were talking about. Prior to this time, I've not been having contractions. Yeah, I've been having admin of tummy, some inconvenient pains. But I tell you, immediately my water broke, the contractions hit, hit hard. So when we got to the hospital, they took me in, checked me immediately, my vitals, to make sure that I'm doing well and the baby is doing well. And very slowly move out. Okay, now. When they told me I was on 1 cm. For those who do not understand, it's the dilation of the cervix that shows how large enough it is to allow the passage of the baby. They count from 1 to, to 10 cm. At 10 cm, you're fully dilated and the baby can come out. And this was about 11.30 already in the night. Before you can tell me the contraction, the contraction has to be every 3 to 5 minutes apart, lasting for 1 minute and for a period of 1 hour. Mine has happened like that, like before I left the house, before we dropped Daniel, before we got to the hospital, it was like between three to five minutes apart and the contractions were lasting about one minute and it's already one hour. So I was in labor already. Just in some minutes after she watched me, the nurse asked if I would want any pain relief. Guys, <laughs> I jumped on it. Um, that was how she gave me some prastamol. The pains were still there, but I just felt better. It kept moving. So I think that the contraction progressed, like it got more painful, it got more consistent. Then she came in and they changed my room, the bedroom room, I had to change my clothes. And each time the contractions hit, guys, that pain, that pain. <laughs> ah, labor pain is not your mate. It's nobody's mate. question is do I need another pain relief because the pressure was getting worse so it's a drip that I was given map tilt when I started taking in that drip guys I didn't see any difference so I guess the pain had tripled or multiplied although I was told that it only makes it get better it's not like it's going to go and so the big question came would you like to take epidural <laughs> guys I was at the peak of it <laughs> Out of the peak of the pain, the pain was so unbearable. Um, before my betting experience, I visited the hospital and some documents were already given me for me to attest to just before the betting process because they understand that while you're giving birth, you may not make some good decisions. So it's better you're educated on certain things and you're able to give your consent if you're interested or not. So, um, some I already consented to. For the epidural, I didn't consent to it. I wasn't certain if I would need an epidural or not. So, at that point where I was asked if I needed an epidural, when I consented, they gave me documents to sign. Before you go for epidural, they will tell you the consequences or they will tell you the side effects. One of it is that the epidural may not work. In some women, it doesn't work. It doesn't change anything. The whole pain still continues and for some people it does work also it has its aftermath effect and that also they told me so guys but that was not even it i was just so positive that it's gonna work for me i just need this pain relieved the epidural administration didn't take a long time about 10 minutes so this is where the gist is there's a procedure after the epidural you stay on the side for 15 minutes you stay on the other side for 15 minutes so an epidural for natural bed is different from the one for cesarean session the one for cesarean session makes your leg numb your like your down parts numb in this case of natural bed it took the contraction pain away totally and my hands were still working every part of my body was still working very well immediately after taking the epidural the nurse asked to check me i said i was on to see guys since that's about two and a half hours later I only had that one CM since that I came into this hospital. So they excused us. So myself and my husband, we held hands and began to pray. 
and in my heart I was like can we just jump can we jump I, ready to go to see the three cm I, I was just in my heart I, I wanted to say it out but you know, I didn't even have all the strength to say and guys this is this to tell you that God hears the thoughts of your heart that was just all I said then we finished praying I didn't even say it to my husband I didn't hear that and the nurses asked that I turn to a side for 15 minutes after the epidural I turned and just immediately I turned I began to feel this huge sensation like something is about to come out of me and I told the nurse and she was like I shouldn't restrain I should just allow it I don't know that. I was like God I cannot be feeling like pooping at this time I'm just still on 2 cm you know I was just worried but she said I should allow it so I felt okay there's um, space for that so I allowed it so because the pain the contraction pain had gone in a split second I dozed off immediately I just saw that the nurses were in the doctor was in and I just heard the baby is about to come and so we need you to push you know guys hearing that it was like are you guys talking to me I almost I, I was almost looking left that is there another person giving birth to this place <laughs> like the baby is about to come you just told me I was on to see her <laughs> In the middle. Yeah. And if you feel the push, you can push. Yeah. Okay. After I pushed the first time, that was when my husband saw that the baby's head was out and was like, Tolu, you need to just push again. I can see the baby's head. The nurse said I should just wait for the next contraction. Immediately the next contraction hits, I should push. You have me at a Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. I'm so emotional, but... I'm trying to just be calm. It was a miracle. And before I knew it, knew it the baby was out. I had a little tear and I was under the baby for bonding. So we entered the hospital around 11, 11.30 and I had my baby exactly 3.51 a.m. 19th of April, 2023. That was it. Then we changed location. It's taken from the betting room to hospital ward. They didn't clean up the baby. They just wrapped the baby after cleaning, wiping up the blood with towel and gave her to me. So my experience at the hospital was really great because they kept checking up on me, physiotherapist, pediatrician, gynecologist, everyone was just coming in to check out was faring and all of that. And uh, I would have actually gone home that day, but in Germany they don't, or in this hospital, they don't just allow you go like that. They need to watch the baby to make sure that the baby is fine, baby doesn't have jaundice, and to watch you as mom. You got me, got me You got me, got me You got me, got me too got me, got me. I've been saving I've been saving you
You say me to who? Yeah. My friends came over, my husband, oh my god, he's such an amazing man, he did a lot. Cynthia, she's such a darling, the angel God sent to me in Germany. She's the vibe, she's that blessing, you know, and I had some very <laughs> hot pepper soup, because hmm. I couldn't bring my mom down, and so that's another gist for another day. Ah, it's peppery. Mm. I, I tell you now. <laughs> really? yeah. I, I never heard this concept that um, like spices actually um, kind of help. Just just go and do research on we Nigerian pepper Nigeria. soup after beds. Yeah? There are lots for different tribes. Yeah. Ah, okay. She just filled in that space, was there for me. It's always here to do it. I'm your mommy. You get better people. Thank you. And that was it, guys. And on the third day, we went our way home. guys i'm just grateful for an awesome birth experience and i'm happy that i'm able to share this with you to let you know the awesomeness of god the realities in serving god i'm just so grateful <laughs> miracles are miracle eh? not the tired jesus so i hope it blessed you i hope it encourages you if you have any questions ask me in the comment section i'm going to be answering them maybe something i didn't mention or so all right guys see you in my next video bye